Hi guys, Carl here from Fox.ie. So, I'm going to show you around some of the cool new features in the new version of the Fox engine. So, as you can see, we have a moving sprite, which is quite nice. Uh, something that was painfully missing from the last iteration. Um, along with this, we've also got the framework for, for entities, for enemies, for NPCs, etc. So, that's all really nice. We've also put in quite a few performance improvements, which you can't see on my computer because my computer is a piece of crap. Check it out on yours at engine. Oh god! <laughs> Check it out on yours at engine.fax.ie, and I'm sure it's a hell of a lot better than this. Um, it's just my suggestion is don't try it in Mac OS X Lion because it's kind of a piece of crap. Maybe sort of. Anyway, um, along with with this, we now have some cool called local storage support. Local storage is useful for plenty of things. It's kind of like your browser's cache, and it's a little bit easier for us to use. Um, so as you can see, I've I've built in a little house here, uh, which is uh, very very nice, and I can save the map to local storage. So then I'm going to reload the page, and it's going to simply load the default map. However, if I go here and load from local storage, it'll load the house, it'll move the sprite as well um, so it's essentially a lot of the game state from, from the last uh, time, for, well from, from when you saved the local storage which is really really cool, we've also got kind of server support built in but it's not finished yet, so this is a good stopgap and it's probably better than server support for most people so some other changes, we're now compressing our maps. Um, previously, as you can see, our maps are very, very long JSON strings. Uh, really, really long JSON strings. I mean, thousands and thousands of lines of JSON. You can now compress that. And I'm going to do that. Safari's going to hang for a few minutes because it's a slow piece of crap. Uh, it's totally not the engine's fault, I swear. Um, so, Give, give Safari a minute to recover, and you'll see that it's a lot smaller. Huge. I mean, that's that's a few hundred lines, if even that. So, good stuff. Very happy about that. Very very pleased with that. It's essentially Hoffman encoding. Uh, if you know what that is, you know it's very simple stuff. So I'm I'm quite pleased with all that stuff. Um, another small feature is auto save. Uh, if you check that your map will autosave to local storage every 6 seconds. That's very quick on some browsers and not so quick on others. It's, it's I mean, kind of in the wind there, you can't really tell. Um, final thing is you can switch on and off the minimap. It's off by default because it's a little slower. Um, that's about it as far as I can remember. Um, one last thing, the maps can now be any size at all. They can be hundreds of thousands by hundreds of thousands and it won't impact the performance uh, which is really really good in my opinion it's very very handy so I think that's about it um, oh one more thing these tiles don't belong to us obviously they're Pokemon tiles, they're from Pokemon Gold or Silver and the spiders from the trading card game on Game Boy Color which by the way was excellent um, it's I mean, it's clear that they're not ours, they belong to the Pokemon Company, or to Game Freak, or to Nintendo, but certainly not to us. If you've got a tile sheet that we could use, please get in contact with us um, at fax.ie, at the contact page, or simply email me at carl at fax.ie, and uh, please get in contact, that would be fantastic. We have our own one in the works, but it's obviously taking some time, so stopgap would be good. Alright, well I think that's it. Um, check us out at fax.ie uh, Check out the engine at engine.fax.ie Because we are so imaginative, uh, imaginative with names And um, yeah, follow us on Twitter All that fun stuff Share this with your friends All that kind of stuff So uh, enjoy!